the enemy of your success. That is what we are going to talk about in this video. I know a lot of smart people. I've known a lot of smart people in my life, people who are brilliant. And I've noticed that the more smart people I encounter and the longer I live and the more people I meet, there are different types of intelligence. Some people are especially good at certain things. They're quick at picking up certain things. Some people are really good with their hands. They can build things, they can put things together. Some people are better at writing. They can write great essays. Some people are good public speakers. Some people are good at mathematics, right? They can learn math a little bit easier than their classmates. But it all takes hard work. And I think that through hard work, you can overcome you know, any normal lack of talent you may have and do really well in most anything. But this is something that affects everyone. No matter what talents they have, it's something that affects people. And it's the enemy of your success. It's overthinking. Overthinking is a big problem, I think, even more so today than it was maybe 30, 40 years ago. And I think it's because of all of the stimulation we have with the internet. And I can easily get my phone and go on Instagram and just watch reels forever and just, you know, constant information. Or I can go read the news, just get constant information. And honestly, it really isn't that beneficial for you. It really isn't. That's why I prefer mathematics. There's nothing like sitting down and doing some, you know, cold, hard mathematics in a quiet room with a piece of paper and a good pencil and an eraser. But overthinking can hurt you. One way that it applies specifically to math is when you're trying to decide what to study. This is one that I think a lot of people have a hard time with, especially if you're taking multiple classes or even worse, if you're doing self-study because it's really hard to know where to start. There's so many books, there's so many good choices, and so you have to decide where to start. I mean, there's so many good calculus books. There's so many good algebra books. You know, where, where do you start? The answer is to pick one and go with it, right? You just have to start. Stop overthinking and take action. One of the smartest people I ever knew was actually really bad at mathematics. He wasn't that good. He wasn't that good. He worked really, really hard. He ended up doing really well in the class. But this person didn't have a natural talent for mathematics. Instead, they had an unstoppable work ethic and they didn't overthink. In fact, they graduated and they started multiple successful businesses. How? They didn't overthink. You know, they would go to, I guess, like the business office and say, what's the first step? And they would get the step and they say, okay, and they would just do it. Most people, when they're trying to accomplish something, whether it be creating a study plan, starting a business, anything, applying for a job, they overthink. They, say, they think, oh, well, what happens, uh, you know, once I do this, then I have to do this, and I don't know how to do that yet, so I'm not going to start. That's the wrong attitude. It's better to start. It's better to start. You just have to do it. It's like that old Nike slogan. I'm pretty sure it's still a slogan. Just do it. It is true. Action is the most important thing you can take, right? Time passes every day. It's passing right now. If there's something you want to do, you should do it, right? The time is now. Stop overthinking and take action. If you want to learn to write proofs, get a book on proof writing and start learning to write proofs. If you want to apply for a job or you want to learn a new skill so that you can apply for other jobs because you want to improve your life, do it. Buy a course. Start learning those skills. Start today. Stop overthinking. Overthinking does nothing. Most of the time when we overthink, we, we go in circles. We rationalize everything. We say, oh, that's a great idea. But then the next day, we, we, we don't act, right? We have good ideas, but we don't act. Why? Because we overthink. Because we're afraid of failure. We're afraid of the unknown. We're afraid that we'll start and we won't know how to finish. You have to be hungry too, whatever it is you're trying to do in life, whether it is learn calculus or get a degree in mathematics or physics or computer science or learn a new programming language, whatever it is you want to do, 
You have to be hungry, you have to want it, you have to work hard, and you cannot overthink. I feel like overthinking is one of the things that holds people back more than anything. Because we all want to succeed. Most people care about learning. You know, I mean, who, who doesn't? Learning is fun. But we overthink and we make excuses for ourselves and we don't act. So stop overthinking. Anyways, just a random video. I wanted to make this because I feel that overthinking is something that I constantly struggle with. I'm always overthinking, you know, should I do this? Should I do that? And I always tell myself, no, don't overthink. And I know that other people have the same issues. You know, I talk to people, I have friends and they have ideas and they overthink and they don't act on them. Stop overthinking and start doing. If you want to learn mathematics, I do actually have math courses. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com. And if you get my courses, they're actually on the Udemy platform. But please use my links as it helps me greatly. And I've lowered the prices on all my courses to the bare minimum. So when you click my links from my website, you should get a very, very low price because I lowered it to the minimum. Also, if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And I do have another YouTube channel. It's called The Internet Sorcerer, where I just post random stuff, product reviews and other things I'm interested in. Um, just random stuff, mostly not mathematics. I might be posting some math content there, but probably not. I'm gonna keep all the math content here on this channel, probably. But check it out, it's called The Internet Sorcerer. If you take away anything from this video, it should be that overthinking is something that everyone does. It is the enemy of our success, of your success, of my success, of everyone's success. I'm not saying that you shouldn't think and you shouldn't plan things out, and I'm not saying you shouldn't be an over-planner, but what I am saying is make sure to take action on your plans. Make sure to do things. Make sure to study math. Don't just think about doing math. Sit down and actually do mathematics. If you sit down after watching this video, after watching this video, if you sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil and do five math problems, you're going to get better at mathematics. You're gonna get better and you'll look back and you'll say, hey, I watched that video of that random person on YouTube and they were right. I learned mathematics after doing five math problems. I mean, it, it, it makes a difference. So stop overthinking. I always think back to that story of my friend because he was not the greatest at mathematics and he had a really hard time learning. He really struggled. I mean, definitely slower than most of the people I have taught, right? Just not very good at it, just really, really struggled. But this person was still able to get A's in college. They were still able to get a degree and they were still able to be wildly successful in other fields, not math, in other fields. Why? Because they didn't overthink. They took action and they were hungry. So stop overthinking. Good luck to you.